Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks of Geeks. Today the problem which we're going to see is to find two elements whose sum is closest to zero. So in this problem, uh, we will be basically given an array which will have both negative and positive integers. And we need to find the two elements whose sum is closest to zero. So uh, like in this uh, given example, so the uh, two numbers whose sum is closest to zero are these. So minus 80 plus 45, uh, minus 80 plus 85. So that comes to uh, five. So that is closest to the uh, zero. So any other combination in this array, any other combination of two elements in this array uh, is not closer to zero than minus 80 plus 85. So that is the problem. Now let's look at the uh, solutions to it. So the first method will be the uh, brute force solution. That is the simple solution in this case. So for each element, we find the sum of it with every other element in the array. And then we compare the sums. Finally, we return the minimum sum. So that, that is the uh, simplest approach which uh, we can think of. So uh, let's look at the code. So here we have the driver function. So in the driver function, we are having uh, the input array. So this is the input array. And then we are calling the uh, min abs absolute sum pair. So where we are passing the array and its size. So note that this, uh, this array has six elements. So that is why we are passing the value six here. So let's look at the, uh, this function now. So in this function, you see it takes as an argument two, uh, two arguments, that is the array itself and its size. Now we, uh, we initialize some variables. One is the inversion count. Uh, Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks of Geeks. Today the problem which we're going to see is to find two elements whose sum is closest to zero. So in this problem, you will be given an array of integers uh, which will contain both negative and positive integers. And you have to basically find two elements such that their sum is closest to zero. So the two elements which uh, you return their sum has to be closest to zero. So uh, we have to find exactly two elements. They can't be more than two elements. We can't uh, just print a single element. There have to be two elements and their sum has to be closest to zero. So uh, uh, basically we have to find the uh, combination of two elements. So uh, for the given example, so 160 minus 10, 70 minus 80 and 85. So we find that uh, the, these, the elements minus 80 and 85. So the sum of uh, these two elements is closest to zero, that is five. Uh, otherwise, uh, for all the combinations of two elements in this array, uh, the sum will be greater than five. Or uh, it will be uh, basically the absolute value of their sum will be uh, greater than five. Uh, because because we are checking the uh, that checking that the sum should be closest to zero. So even if it uh, because this sum is five, even if it is uh, minus two, then the answer should be minus two. So we are actually calculating the uh, calculating that the absolute value should be uh, closest to zero. Uh, okay. So uh, let's look at the uh, methods how we how we are going to solve it. So the method one is the simple method where which is basically the brute force algorithm where we will be checking uh, every combination. So for each element, we find the sum of it with every other element in the array and then we compare their sums. Finally, we return the minimum sum. So that is the simplest solution uh, we can think of. So let's look at the code. So here we have the driver function where we are actually having the array. Uh, 
uh, which have the elements 160 minus 1070 minus 80 and 85 this is the same uh, array which we have discussed and then we call this function min uh, absolute uh, sum pair where we are passing the array and its size uh, note that this uh, this array has six elements in it so that is how we are passing the value six here so let's dive into uh, this function uh, to see the algorithm so here is the function so in this function we firstly have some uh, initializations uh, then we have the uh, check to check if uh, the array size is smaller than zero so because if array size is smaller than zero so then we cannot find a pair basically so we have to basically print that the input is invalid invalid input and then we return we we don't do anything if the input is valid that is the array has two or uh, more than two elements then we execute this algorithm where we have these uh, initialization so here we just declared the variables now we are initializing them so uh, minimum uh, left minimum uh, l is equal to zero minimum right is equal to one then you have min sum equal to array zero plus array one so what we are doing here is we are basically initializing the uh, minimum uh, sum uh, to the uh, sum of the first element and the second element that is the element at index zero at and element at index one so we do this because uh, we have to basically uh, have some value to compare uh, in this uh, for loops okay so we we have uh, minimum sum here now we go to the uh, loops here so we have a loop uh, which runs from 0 to array size minus 1 basically uh, then you have a loop which runs from l plus 1 to array of size so these two loops will ensure that we try every combination then uh, inside this loop we uh, calculate the sum first that sum is array of l plus array of r so element at index l plus element at index r then we uh, check that if the absolute value of the minimum sum uh, is greater than the absolute value of the sum which we just calculated in this step so if that is the case then we update our min sum variable uh, with the current sum min l with the current l and min r with the current r so we do this for uh, all the elements and uh, these two loops ensure that uh, every combination is checked and uh, once we are done with this uh, condition uh, with these two loops then in the end we are uh, left with the two elements whose sum is the minimum um, i mean the uh, whose absolute sum is minimum or uh, its sum is closest to zero so that was the first solution uh, which had the time complexity of order of n square but we can definitely do better because this is a brute force algorithm so uh, let's see a better method so the better method would be uh, method two in our case uh, in which we will be using sorting so the algorithm says that uh, sort all the elements of the input array that is the first step uh, then we use two index variables l and r to traverse from left and right ends respectively and then we initialize so that is why we initialize l equal to 0 and r equal to n minus 1 so we will be having one index variable uh, from the, at the left end and one index variable at the right end and we will be traversing it so at, uh, at each step we will be basically calculating the sum uh, uh, element at index l plus element at index r if the sum is negative then we increment l plus uh, when we do increment l if it is positive we decrement r so that this we are doing to uh, uh, to uh, to keep the sum closest to zero so if the sum has uh, went negative then we uh, try to make it positive by incrementing l if the sum is now positive then we try to uh, may, uh, go it uh, tr so try that the sum goes closer to zero so we to reduce its value we do a r minus minus okay so uh, we do these two steps uh, then we the, uh, we also keep a track of the absolute uh, min sum so at each step we calculate the sum and then we can uh, keep a track of absolute value of uh, minimum sum here so we do that and then we repeat the steps three four five six uh, till uh, l is smaller than r once that is done uh, it means that we have traversed the whole of the array and uh, 
we have reached a solution the time complexity of this solution will be the complexity of the sorting which we uh, which will be order of n log n then complexity of finding the optimum pair that would be order of n because we are traversing the array only once so the overall time complexity will be order of n log n so let's look at the code so here the driver function remains the same here we have the uh, function uh, which will implement the algorithm which we have discussed so uh, we have the variable declarations and initialization where we are having the variable sum and we are initializing min sum with int max now we have uh, in uh, l equal to 0 r equal to n minus uh, n minus 1 which will basically be pointing to the left and uh, uh, right of the array uh, left left end and the right end of the array now here we have the uh, minimum l equal to l minimum r equal to n minus 1 sorry minimum l equal to 1 and minimum r equal to n minus 1 uh, no no so minimum l is equal to uh, l which is actually equal to 0 here so effectively this is uh, 0 now minimum r is n minus 1 so uh, uh, then we uh, check the uh, check if the input is valid or not so this is similar to the uh, previous uh, method so if the elements are uh, less than there are less than two elements in the array then we just print that it is an invalid input then we do a quick sort to sort the elements uh, we will not be discussing the quick sort in this video uh, that uh, that is uh, that is uh, out of scope for this video uh, but uh, this does the job in order of n log n we assume that for now then we come to our algorithm here where while l is smaller than r we calculate the sum uh, for the elements at index L and index R then the, and then we each have the same condition here which we had in the previous algorithm where we're checking if absolute value of the sum is smaller than absolute value of minimum sum uh, calculated till now if that is the case we update the minimum sum minimum L and minimum R so we update these values uh, also if uh, sum is smaller than zero uh, then we do a L plus plus otherwise we do a R minus minus so this is uh, done to ensure that the we are we are going closer to uh, zero at each step we, sh we should be going closer to zero and we should also be traversing the array only once so at the end of this uh, while loop uh, we will be having our solution so we print the uh, two elements which will be at index minimum L and minimum R so uh, in total we discussed two methods uh, in this tutorial uh, the method one was the simple brute force algorithm which had the time complexity of order of n log uh, n square and the second method where we use sorting uh, had the time complexity of order of n log n so, okay so uh, that is all for this tutorial uh, you can visit this link to find out all the stuff which we discussed in this tutorial and also uh, to run the code which we just discussed in the ide on the geeks or geeks website itself Thank you very much.